And joining me for more insight into Russia's invasion of Ukraine on the first anniversary of the war is Tatiana Vorosko, managing editor of VOA's Ukrainian service. Tatiana, welcome back to Africa 54. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Uh, tell us what has been the impact of this war for this whole year for the Ukrainian people. Yes, it has been the year since the full force Russian invasion. The war has been going since 2014. And as President Biden just recently said during his unannounced trip to Kyiv, Ukraine still stands, democracy still stands. Kyiv has not been captured in three days, three weeks, or even a year. Uh, but it still comes at the enormous cost. Enormous cost. Uh, uh, we know that about 17% of Ukrainian uh, territory is still being occupied by Russian forces. And from thousands of testimonies, reporting, investigative work, we know what happened then. Russians, Russian troops occupy Ukrainian territories. It's tortures of the local residents, uh, lack of access uh, to basic, um, basic services, food, um, extrajudicial killings. Uh, people sometimes can't leave. If they leave, sometimes they shoot at the people being evacuated. Un untold cruelty being unleashed on the people under occupation. Uh, then we're talking about civilians casualties. The latest number I saw was 7,000 from UN. It's probably much, much higher because I will take you know, months after the war ends to calculate the losses and we still don't have access or so Ukrainian side or international side don't have, doesn't have access to the territories under Russian occupation, then we miss military losses. And when we're talking about Ukrainian military, it's professional military, but it's also all those, you know, men and women who uh, join the army, some of them, you know, have High, some of them have even, you know, took like PhD degrees. So they, they um, artists, uh, they are, they are athletes, or have their own businesses. So we, Ukraine also loses lives, but it also loses a lot, a lot, a lot of talent. When yeah. we're talking about deportations, they just learned about 6,000 Ukrainian children, and this was number, uh, which you know, just put it a number. It's probably still higher, uh -huh. uh, which has been separated from their families or from the institution where they were. And in many cases, there's no access; they don't have any access to their relatives. And then we come to you know the destruction of infrastructure, destruction of a Ukrainian economy. Uh, mines in the fields. So the Ukrainian farmers that farm the, the fields, mm -hmm. they in danger of being shot and they in danger to blow up on the mines. And then we're talking about refugees. Uh, over 18 million Ukrainians left Ukraine. Uh, women, uh, over almost 90, uh, over 90 percent of them are women with children. Since then, 10 million are returned, but we still have 8 million Ukrainian living abroad, and those are separated families, so our lives turned upside down, and this is, you know, lost for Ukrainian economy, and then when, how many would return?